My name is Joel Robinson from Cobra Firing Systems, and in this video we're going to be talking all about Talon igniter clips. There's three different topics I want to cover in this video. The first topic being how to use Talon igniter clips. The second topic, how to use Talon igniter clips with Cobra Firing Systems. And third and lastly, how to wire Talon igniter clips in parallel. So topic number one, how to use Talon igniter clips. You can see in front of me we have a Talon igniter clip and the first thing we're going to do in order to use our Talon is we're going to open up the mouth of the Talon. So all you have to do is pinch on the back of it here and you'll see the mouth open. Now you'll notice that doesn't open very wide so I'm going to show you guys a trick to make it open wider. All you have to do is take the wire and just move it out the side of the Talon and then when you pinch the back of the Talon now it's going to open a lot wider. All right, so now we move the wire out of the way. We're going to attach the Talon to fuse. So let's bring over our fuse. And when you're attaching the Talon to the fuse, you do not want to insert the fuse from the side like I'm doing now. If you do that, you run the risk of damaging this little nichrome wire inside of there. So what you're gonna actually do is take the Talon and insert the fuse from the front. You see what I'm doing here? So all you have to do is kind of go in here and clip it on there. So now the talon is clipped to the fuse. What we're going to do now is secure the talon to the fuse and to the firework itself. So what we're going to use is a piece of strong tape such as Gorilla Tape. And we're going to be putting this on the fuse, the talon, and part of the wire. Now what we're actually doing is not only securing the talon to the firework, we're also providing strain relief if someone trips on this wire. So you'll see if I just kind of pull on the wire, it's not actually pulling on the fuse, it's pulling on the taped part here. All right, so now we have to insert our Talon igniter clip into our firing system. In order to do this, we're gonna be looking at the other side of the Talon. You'll kind of see here there's some wire exposed. This little part here, you can just pull it off. And then you're gonna split these two wires apart. Sometimes it's really easy to do, sometimes you might have to use your nails to kind of pry them apart. You'll see once you get it going, you kind of pull it apart here. Now the wire that is, is exposed here, we're just gonna fold that in half. Like so. Do the same thing for the other side here. Like so. And now we are ready to insert our talent into our firing system. The reason we're folding the uh, wires over is to provide twice the contact to the Q terminal. So now that it's in the firing system, you can see that it's obviously in there, but there's something you can do to actually provide a little bit of extra strain relief on the module side, and that is take the wire, and what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the wire around this Q um, hinge. So all you do is kind of wrap it like this, do the same on this side like that. So now if something pulls on this, it's actually going to be pulling on the hinge part rather than the part that's actually clipped inside of the terminal. The second thing we're going to talk about in this video is how to use talon igniter clips with Cobra firing systems. Now in order to use talons, there's a couple things we got to keep in mind. First off, we have to put every module that is firing talons into talon igniter mode. It's very easy to do, and all you have to do is push the sync button and the channel up button at the same time. When you do this, you will see the number 2.0 displayed on the screen. That means there's going to be a two second pulse of current sent to each queue when it is time to be fired. So let me just go ahead and demonstrate how to put into Talon Igniter mode. You just push the sync channel up, you'll see that 2.0. We'll do it one more time, sync channel up, 2.0. All right, so if you want to put it back into E-Match mode, all you have to do is push the sync and the channel down button, and you'll see 0.1 or a tenth of a second pulse that will be sent to your cues when firing. So let me just go ahead and demonstrate that. Sync channel down, you'll see the 0.1. Sync channel down, you'll see that 0.1. But we're gonna be talking about Talon Igniter clips, so let's go ahead and put it back into Talon Igniter mode. Sync channel up, you'll see that 2.0 is displayed. All right, so now we're in Talon Igniter mode, and even if you power off your module or replace the batteries, it's still gonna remember that it's in Talon Igniter mode. 
So speaking of batteries, it's always recommended that you use Energizer or Duracell brand batteries. If you use batteries such as Rayvac or other off-brand batteries, you run the risk of cues not firing. Also talking about batteries, when firing town igniter clips, it is recommended that your 2P power level is a P8 or higher. And in order to tell what the power level is, when you turn on your unit, you'll see some numbers displayed here, 1P9, 2P9. And that 2P9, we want to see an 8 or higher. And if you're unfamiliar with how to change the batteries, the 2P batteries are these two batteries here. So if you see a number lower than that, you can switch out these batteries to get that number higher. All right, so we're using Energizer batteries. We are in Town Igniter mode and we have a high 2P power level. So now we are ready to insert our Town Igniter clip into our Cobra system. And this is the Town we used in the video earlier. I've already folded the ends over. We've already split it apart here. And so we're just gonna insert that into the desired queue. And once again, in order just to provide some extra strain relief, I'm gonna wrap the wires around the queue hinge like so. And now you're ready to go. The third and final topic we're going to cover today is how to wire Talon Igniter clips in parallel. Now before we get started, I want to mention that you cannot wire Talon Igniter clips in series, so if you're doing more than one Talon together, you have to wire them in parallel. Also, you can do up to four Talon Igniter clips in parallel. So we're going to go ahead and do two in parallel right now. So the first thing you would do is take the cap off of your Talon wire and then split the wires apart, which we did in the first part of the video and you can see I've already done here. And all we're going to do is take one wire from each talon and twist it together. It doesn't matter which one you do. So we're just going to grab these two wires, line up the exposed ends, and just twist the wires together. You're going to repeat this process for the remaining wires. I'm just going to twist it. and you're now wired in parallel. So all you have to do now is insert it into your Cobra system. So now, since we're doing this in parallel, we're not actually gonna fold the exposed wire over like we did in the first section of the video. So all you would do is insert this into your desired queue. And to provide some extra strain relief, we're gonna go ahead and wrap these two wires around the hinges. If you're doing more than two, you might not be able to actually get them to wrap around the hinges. All right, so now you're ready to fire. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact us at cobrafiringsystems.com.